I want to talk about uh, the uh, murders and disappearances of uh, Native Indigenous uh, all across the Americas. Um, and this is being pre uh, perpetrated by uh, by colonial uh, by colonial uh, white settlers uh, all the way up to uh, modern times. Uh, it's uh, colonialism has never stopped. And the uh, vile, uh, homicidal, uh, vitriolic, uh, bigoted, racist uh, nature has uh, contributed to what happens a lot of times when the uh, when North America and uh, when North America and uh, Western Europe gets involved uh, in the politics, uh, and they call it politics, but basically it's it's about uh, using the power to instill people that will that will basically uh, keep the population down, uh, to oppress, suppress, murder, uh, rape, pillage. This is still going on, and the indig indigenous and the mixed pay, while the white. Uh, colonial, uh, uh, colonial uh, descendants uh, through the uh, old money and new money, uh, new money wealth, which cr creates corporations. You know, I repeat this before: your shareholders are from old money and new money. And they are the ones sending down your GMs, your Fords, your your Microsofts, your your uh, uh, you name it, your Exxon, your Exxon Mobiles, your uh, your HSBC, your uh, Citigroup, your, all those, and then uh, your Monsantos, you, you name it. You, they're doing all this, and they have, and then on top of that, you have the these hedge funds. And basically, a hedge fund is a just a confusing way of saying, "Oh, we are, we are uh, your con men, your mafia sort of con men, and we uh, basically uh, commit uh, crimes." Uh, Crimes of embezzlement, uh, extortion, uh, uh, cheating, fraud, uh, stealing. And that's basically what a hedge fund, uh, hedge fund is. And banks have become nothing more than predators. So a hedge fund is just a, a predator that uh, doesn't just hit economic. It hits, uh, <coughs> it hits in every aspect of real life. Of real living, under a capitalistic mon uh, monetary theory, and that's and we all uh, we all face it. Doesn't matter where we live, even the uh, even the the right uh, the quote unquote right wingers, you are facing the same ordeals. But the focus for you is this is this made up. Thing of you know, oh, where the, where the uh, we have the right to rule, we have the right to go kill, murder, rape, and do whatever, and to keep others down. And the thing is, is there are no others. Understand, there is not, there's no such thing as others. It's humans. They're no different from you. Beyond the simple visual. So. You have all this going on, and and they're and they're killing people left and right, the indigenous, and the uh, the numbers are purposely obscured so that there can't be any reporting. 
because those who are decent, if they actually saw the numbers, they would not only be outraged and alarmed, but I honestly think they would move. But you keep these sort of, these monstrous atrocities, and you, and you muddy it, and you don't put out figures, don't do this. This is, uh, this is what Trump refers to as fake, fake news. And I hate Trump with a passion because he is one of the criminal elites who is trying to screw over everybody, fuck over everybody. And he only cares for himself. And I'm not even sure he cares for his immediate family. And so, these are, uh, these are the things that these monsters do. You know, um, as a gentleman, he's, uh, he calls himself uh, Bo of the Fifth Column. And Bo is a very intelligent uh, person. He sees through, but he also, I also disagree with him because of this, because he falls in the, I think he falls in the same trap that so many others do. Not understanding that the fear which the right wing does, the violence that the right wing does, keeps others in check. And keeps the division and I keep saying, we have to be, uh, we have to understand the fundamental nature of what it is to be humans. We are part of the animal kingdom, and that is how, and that is nature. And nature uh, uses fear. They use power to keep in check potential enemies. And that is what the right wing understands. That is what the Republicans understand. That is what all dictators understand. Because it's a fundamental part of nature. And that is why they are successful. And that is why they have controlled the narrative. Because if you think that the corporations which, are, which uh, spring up from all the new money are not right-wingers, they're not dictators, then you are, that is the problem. They are dictators. They are the ones running the narrative. They are the ones robbing, stealing, pillaging, plundering, murdering, raping, and causing general uh, monstrous chaos. That is the fundamental reason why we have what we have. Because we are not willing to use the fundamentals of nature to keep them in check. And so, you know, I really, really respect Bo. Uh... Just, uh, but just like TYT, Democracy Now!, and all these other leftist uh, organizations and all these other leftists, they, they don't understand. You know who understands? Antifa understands. But even they won't take the next step. The step that is crucial. And that is because, <laughs> generally on the left... You are people who are too smart for their own good. They're too cere uh, cere uh, cerebral. They're too uh, into uh, the false dichotomy of, of philosophy that sounds good, but it isn't. I no longer buy into the dichotomy of false hoods. Uh, you know, it's like the wolf in sheep's clothing. When you have philosophies that are uh, putting out wolves in sheep's clothing. 
For instance, uh, free speech. That's a wolf in sheep's clothing. When you're uh, when you're talking about nonviolent action, that's a wolf in sheep's clothing. The reason why the right wing has so much influence, so much uh, outrageous influence, where the uh, the plural majority is actually on the right side of things, is because they will use it, and because they know the left will not take the necessary actions. There is a crucial, uh, crucial learning factor. And violence has a factor. It is when we use violence without purpose, when we use violence because we feel that, that, uh, we deserve to be this way or that way without uh, without natural law being the foundation then that's just violence for uh, the nefarious malicious uh, vitriolic uh, racist bigoted reasons when you use violence as a teaching tool to say, no, 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 no. That is ab abjectly wrong. It goes against common natural law and to allow you to continue infringes upon me and every other right thinking person who follows natural common law. I keep repeating myself. Natural common law that is something even the right wingers deserve. Natural common law is that if you cut me, I bleed. Natural common law is if you come after me for no good reason because you feel like you don't like me because of the way I look or because I said something that follows natural common law and you feel that natural common law does not apply to you and you can come out and attack me and do whatever and get away with it, that is when violence is necessary. That is when force must, must be used and applied. I understand. <laughs> I'm not saying go out there and shoot a right winger or stab a right winger right off the bat? No. What I'm saying is use force in words and in action. Get together, stick together, and make the point that no, this sort of thinking and ideology and behavior is unacceptable because it goes against common, uh, common natural law and common interests. And if they don't listen, and if they uh, and if they come back and they're trying to use just a chaotic violence, then it's time to retaliate, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Otherwise, it will continue to go on, and that is the foundation of peace and prosperity. Because sticking up for common natural law. Common self-interest, where the values, the common values, is held by all. That is right. When it goes against common natural law, common value, and common interest, then that go is unnatural and thereby criminal, sinful. It is evil. It is monstrous. It is demonic. And so we must use force to get the point across. And if the point doesn't get across, then we have to take further actions. And further actions could be a beatdown, 
several beatdowns to make them understand. And if that doesn't work and they come at, a, at you hard, then you go at them as just as hard. That is what we all are entitled to through natural law. And violence hasn't, doesn't need to be just simply violence, physical violence. Violence could be economic, it could be social, and social meaning li uh, telling lies, fabricating stories, setting rumors, obfuscating, misrepresenting. All the things that media does that we don't like. All the things that politicians do that we don't like. Because it goes against common natural laws. Common natural reason. Common natural uh, values. When you have a religious organization which is allowing people in that religion to go rape young kids and destroy them emotionally and mentally, that is vile, monstrous. Uh, that is vile and monstrous. It goes against common law, common interests. We cannot say we care about these values and we throw it away because it's somebody uh, wearing a uh, religious garb or with the title with a title. And that goes with the same thing with politicians. These are the reasons why that, uh, that when there were kings and monarchs and nobles, people rose up violently, physically violent. And all, in all those cases, the reason they went to physical violence was because the violence was used against them in the beginning. And this has always been the case. This is a fundamental core issue behind it. So if we want, and if we truly value common law, common natural law, then that is what we need to do. This is why <clears throat> this is why, um, you know, uh, the survival of the fittest is wrong, but at the same time, it is right. It's right because the greater numbers. It's wrong in that just because you can apply it doesn't mean that you should. If it's for the common natural law, then yes, apply it. If it's because you think and believe you have it and it goes against common natural law, then you are wrong. Then it does not apply. Strength comes from a solid community who understands common natural law. And common natural law should be the basis for all human lives so we have to decide do we want to be human beings striving to evolve looking to uh, generate peace looking to advance or do we want to be the human animals human animals who live on instinct I don't like you because I don't like the way you like I don't like you because you're telling me I can't do something I want to do, whether or not it goes, uh, 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 when it goes against common law, common natural law, then that is completely subjective. Yes, we can all have subjective ideas and thoughts and emotions, but a human being tries, tries to strive to go beyond those subjective instincts, the subjective ideas. Just because I see somebody out there whom I, whom I find physically attractive does not give me the right to go out there and rape them. 
if I was if I was a pedophile, I was interested in young men, I mean young boys, young children, does not give me the right to go out there and destroy them. Doesn't give me the right to go out there and destroy a child's life, whether they are male or female, because I because if I think I prefer that. Because it excites me. That's not the way common natural law works. That is the exact opposite. It doesn't give me the right because if I had billions of dollars to go out there and subvert common natural laws. When I do sedition and I betray the common natural law, then I am the monster. And I am the vile, vile, insidious, demonic evil that is because it goes against common natural law. Yes, we will run into people that we, uh, that irritate us. Yes, there are people who who do it because they're trying to get status. Social brownie points. I'll give you a prime example. As a guy, I, um, I grew up in Canton, Massachusetts. And uh, it was uh, largely uh, uh, white uh, suburban, uh, suburban neighborhood. Actually, a fairly uh, affluent suburban, uh, suburban uh, town. But I had... This one guy, uh, no, not just one, but several. You know, uh, my going to school was, uh, uh, going through the school system. Uh, it wasn't the happiest time in my life. I ran into a lot of prejudice. I ran into a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, people uh, going, at, uh, going at me. My peers going at me because of the way I looked or because uh, they viewed me as antisocial or because I was an easy target, for whatever the uh, reasons. <clears throat> but the point I'm trying to make is one particular guy had been at me and at me and at me all through high school. I lost, I lost my friend uh, John uh, early on uh, uh, during the... Uh, uh, during the uh, like the uh, period of 7th or 8th grade, I lost him because he got into the in-crowd. He didn't st uh, stick up to me like he normally would. Another friend, uh, Phil, he and I, you know, uh, 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 we were the best of friends, but the same situation with John. And... This, uh, the guy George, uh, this kid George, he was at me and at me from day one. Why? Because he had decided from the social cliques that I was persona non grata. So he was at me and at me and at me and at me and at me. And there, were, uh, and there was one time uh, in lunchtime, I, you know, I wanted to... Uh, uh, I, I got so angry that I wanted to beat him down. And the thought of whether or not he could ever uh, get back up if he died, uh, that was something that had almost completely gone out, out of my head. Because I've had enough of his bullshit. I think I was uh, a, uh, a sophomore or, uh, or an early junior at the time in high school. I put up his, uh, with his shit for a long time. And that one particular day, I was going to, uh, I was going to beat him senseless. And the thing is, is I know, I knew 100% that I could do it. That I could beat him and possibly even kill him. But I didn't carry it out. Because I grabbed hold of myself 
I just swung my fist through the air in frustration. Because I understood something. Because I was more mature. I understood that I was not given the right just because I was having, just because he was at me. I did not, was not given the right by common natural law to beat him down for being a dick. Because it was words. Had he had used, had he had uh, done that and gone to the point where he was trying, actually trying to get people to actually beat me up, then I would have had, by common law, I would have beaten him and I would have killed him. And it would not have mattered. But he never went that far. He never went that far. So it was not my right to beat him severely. Because it was just words, it was teasing, and it's part of grown up. We are going to uh, we are going to do things that are be that are hurtful. But unless George had decided, like uh, like Edward here, uh, the other guy, Edward, one of my other uh, nemesis, unless that was the case. I didn't have the right. And Ed used to go, uh, wouldn't just go at me with words. He'd come at me physically. These are the sort of things I'm talking about when I'm talking about common natural law. So when they get, uh, so when they throw the uh, vile vitriol, yes, we have every right by common law to not only point it out, but to get angry about it. And to come together and show with a show of force to make sure pe those they understand that's not acceptable. That it goes against common natural law. That is what I'm talking about when I talk about common natural law. Alright. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got to say. <laughs>